When the Caesar Park Hotel first opened in 1984, it was Taiwan's first five-star hotel. It was recently remodeled in 2006 to have a Indonesian Balinese style. There is a courtyard in the middle of the hotel that is a green courtyard with uh, palm trees and a swimming pool in the middle. The swimming pool is a fairly good size, but there's something strange about it, and that is apparently in Taiwan, there's a requirement to go in the swimming pool, you need to wear a swimming cap. The good news is a guest of the hotel, you can check out a swimming cap, but this was just a culture shock point that I've never been in a swimming pool that required me to wear a swimming cap. It clearly gets hot here because they have a sign to let you know when walking on the path, Please put on your shoes in case of high temperature. Also, you take a shower, you dirty boy, before getting into the swimming pool. Down in the basement level of the hotel is sort of like the kids' amusement zone. There are ping pong tables, crane games, a video arcade, a little kid's play area, and finally, a very, very small gym. One of the hotel's big selling points is that it is directly across the street from the beach, the Caesar Cove Recreation Area. There are two main ways to get down to the beach from the hotel. You can either cross the slightly treacherous street in front of the hotel and then walk down this wooden staircase, or alternatively, you can take the hotel's private path that goes underneath the road through this tunnel, but it is a slightly treacherous path, and they provide some warnings to let you know that reptiles live in the National Park area. But you have to admit, he is a pretty cute reptile. Once you finally make it down to the beach, you will find that there are chairs and umbrellas provided for hotel guests. There is also a service station with bathrooms and rentals of various beach equipment, and a pretty neat beachfront bar that in theory has live music at night, though we missed out on that because we were at the night market. The waves at this beach seem to be pretty small the day I was there, and for your protection, they provide a little roped-in swim area. Something that did look like a lot of fun was to be pulled along by one of these jet skis. Whee! Now that we've seen the hotel grounds, let's head on up to the third floor and check out one of the rooms. So come in, check out the room. Uh, the room has two beds. It has a nice wooden back wall with an interesting calligraphy art on the back. There are a couple of nice chairs back here. Uh, the room came with a complimentary bowl of fruit. And uh, out the door this way is uh, a view to the courtyard and swimming pool. This is the in-room closet. There are some nice yeah, slippers for the enjoyment of your feet and walking around. There are two bottles of complimentary Caesar Park water. There is a teapot, some teacups. There are not complimentary pajamas. I guess you can wear them, you just can't take them. And, uh, and down here is a little in-room refrigerator. Good deal, the beverages in the refrigerator are complimentary. Over this way uh, is a flat panel television, and then over here, the most interesting feature of the room, I think, is the bathroom that's really part of the room with a big bathtub that you kind of have to sneak by uh, to get into the bathroom. There's the sink, the toilet, the shower uh, that also has a rain head and a handheld. Um, there's a little box here that says Caesar Park Contain that has all of the various bathroom amenities, including toothbrushes, etc., etc., that you typically expect in one of these things. So you actually can close this off, which is nice. 
It's got these sliding doors that you can slide yourself into the bathroom. And uh, so with that, I will try to slide this door closed and bid you Zaijian. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe.